Hello all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mikey. Thank you for joining me. Today I am doing a regroom on my Nicholas hair system from La Vivid. Uh, first things first, after you have washed your scalp and got rid of all of the glue residue, you're going to have to cut down that hair on your patch. Um, some people like to shave it. I don't personally. I find it gives me a reaction underneath. Um, and I find it quite uncomfortable. It kind of has, it feels itchy to me. Uh, so I just use a trimmer and go to the shortest length. Uh, and I find that that doesn't have that effect anymore. Uh, I use a mirror to do the back. Um, yeah. Full disclosure, I was, I scratched my scalp after I took my system off because it was so itchy because <laughs> I'd left it too long without doing it without changing it and uh, it really was itching and I've given myself a bit of a rash on the back of my head it's not the system it is me scratching it so and so I use some scalp protector and give that a really good coat and leave that to dry naturally doesn't feel that great <laughs> next I will mark out where I want my hairline to go so I do this by raising my eyebrows and it's kind of a uh, got to the point where I just know where it goes now uh, and with a bit of trial and error, you'd be able to do the same. Once I've done that, I then line up the hair system in accordance with them marks and put it down, lay it down. It does take a little bit of, just, of adjusting. And then once I've got that front bit all secure and it feels flat, I will then remove the tape backing from around the back of the perimeter of the system and lay the back. And just like that, it's back on. And now it's time to do the front hairline. So I lay down the glue and lift up them, that front, so that it keeps out of the glue. And wait seven minutes for that to dry. And then we start laying it down. Um, apologies, the camera did have a little bit of an issue trying to focus on this. Uh, but this is, you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm pushing the system into the glue with the teeth of the comb. Uh, but I'm holding back the hair because I don't want that hair to get in that glue. I do have a tendency to overlap the hair, sorry, the glue, uh, go a bit too far. So I need to, that's something I need to work on. And if you push the hair down into the glue, oh, it's just a mess to get, get right. So just the last little bits to knock it in. And then I go through the front. I do it through the mirror just because it's just easy. And then what I've been doing recently is allowing my hair system to dry naturally. It is just so much softer if you do it that way. Um, so what I would do is I would put leave-in conditioner in and a hairband because I have it in the slicked back look and just just leave it until it is mm, partly dry because you don't want to have an indent from the hairband and then take it out and let it dry naturally and it's just so much softer. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Le Vivid for providing the hair. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video.